Hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1 and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. And uh, joining me today once again we've got Cosmic Mennonite. Hello folks. And in this video we are gonna do the one jiggy that I saved for last. That's right folks. It's the dreaded Canary Mary race in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Ah, so this is the uh, one you mentioned to me uh, during that one uh, chat session. Yep, that's the one. This race yeah. hard? Yeah, yes, so I'm heading up to Cloud Cuckoo Land now. Excellent method of transportation, Walter. Oh, yes, of course. But before we actually do the race, um, apparently I'm gonna have, have to get something that I stupidly forgot to get in the last video. Uh, what's that? <laughs> well, okay, I ended the last video with the Pot of Gold Challenge, but I forgot there was an extra honeycomb piece behind the entrance. So, <laughs> well, I gotta make sure I get that now. No, I, I can't quite remember. Did uh, was Banjo able to uh, grab onto ledges in Banjo Kazooie? Uh, no. He learns the grip grab in this game. Ah. Uh, plants his enemies. Yeah. Yeah. You know how interesting this. You can actually walk on a rainbow. And Banjo didn't even have to eat Skittles to do that. Right, ace the rainbow. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna fall. <laughs> oh, I almost did. I was trying to look for a safe spot to jump down so I could easily get the extra honeycomb piece. Oh, well, nice. Yes, uh, I thought it would be quicker if I did that, so, so that way I could get back to what I planned on doing for this video. Oh, so that just resets you at the uh, entrance? Yep. Tomorrow I have to get back to school. Uh, putting that off for a little too long. Okay, and here's Canary Mary. For this race, we're actually riding a clockwork mouse. Now, this is the one I was telling you where I got a turbo controller for, but it did let me down, so I had to do it the old fashioned way. Uh, so, um, no, no, you haven't played any Mario Party 7, have you? Uh, not yet, but I do have Mario Party 8 and 9 on my Christmas list. Oh, uh, because I was about to say, um, there's actually a little, there's actually a couple of, there's like a, there's a mini game in Mario Party 2 where you had to, um, rapidly tap both A and B at the same time and wind up the, uh, little Mecha Shy guy there. Oh. Uh, uh, troll race, but, uh, that kind of reminded me of that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I haven't played Mario Party 2 yet, so I wouldn't know about it. It's on Virtual Console. Yeah, I know it's on the Virtual Console, but that's the only Mario Party that actually is available on the Virtual Console. Yeah, I actually own the, uh, I actually own that and the uh, cartridge, but I didn't get that until like 2007. <laughs> Well, yes, I know uh, 1 through 3 are on the N64, and uh, 4 through 7 are on the GameCube, and 8 and 9 are on the Wii. Yep. Actually, I, I, haven't, I don't even own uh, 8, despite the fact that it's been out since 2007. I actually don't own the game. Yeah, I believe uh, 9 was released very recently, though. Yeah, it was released, um... Like, last year. No, it was released early this year, like February or something like that. Oh, yeah, it was a few months ago, yeah. So, um, now as you noticed, I'm actually pausing a lot in this video because, you know, because uh, this is one task that actually can make your arm numb. Really? 
Yes. Um, I don't know. I'm starting to get uh, flashbacks of that uh, Boshi race in a uh, Mario RPG. Oh yeah, yeah. I couldn't figure out how to beat that at first until I was, until I was like, oh wait a minute, you gotta do A and B together? Well, I tried that and it worked for me. Wait, wait. This race or Boshi? No, the Boshi race in Yoster Isle. Oh, I hate that. RPG. I hate that race so much. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. Well, I hated it too back then, but uh, right now I, I sort of have no problem with it. Yeah, I'm actually not going to show it off on my LP. I'm actually going to uh, refer to you and uh, some Kirby just because you guys have done it and uh, I can't. So I'm going to okay. I'm going to redirect the, the viewers to you to you guys. Well, I see no problem with that. Of course. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, it does. So he just needs to get past you a little bit for the race to just automatically end. Uh, yes, you just gotta beat Canary Mary for the Mary to win the race. Actually, you gotta beat him twice here, just like in Glitter Gulch Mine. Only in Glitter Gulch Mine, it's a bit easier. You're actually uh, racing on a minecart. Ah. Uh. Yep. Papery thing? Uh, he's referring to a Cheeto page. Oh. Yep, the very last one of the game. You can grab the jig. Uh, yeah, I forgot to do that. But I'll remember to get it, though. Now, as you notice, like, for the second race, they, we actually take a different route this time. Yeah, I can see that. Yes, because for the first race, we actually didn't go around the trash can. Oh, that's what this is supposed to be? Yeah, apparently it's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be a different route. Ah, the size of that thing. Isn't that a little excessive? <laughs> it took to, like, like, when I recorded this to realize that both races go different routes. Oh. Yeah, and, uh, and, I've, and I, for one, f find it weird that you actually go inside a trash can in this game. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, just luckily this is not reality, otherwise <laughs> it would stink. Yeah. Oh, this race must have been really taking a toll on your arm. Oh, it has. I'm trying to think, because there's been a couple of games where I have ran into a problem like that, where I was just, I just had to tap incredibly fast, and like, uh, my forearm just decided to start, uh, aching. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't quite remember what I was playing uh, at the time. And here I thought this was, like, the most difficult task ever made in platforming games. Really? No, the most difficult task in platforming games is, uh, Daredevil Run Boulder Ghost. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, that, yes, 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 but this was made, like, years before Super Mario Galaxy came out, though. Yeah, I don't see the problem with Boulder Ghost. Yeah, I mean, wow. Easy boss. Yeah, if he is Daredevil, uh... Yeah, well, I've never been able to beat Boulder Geist yet. Yeah, but that was sarcasm. <laughs> oh, well, okay. So, what, now you can just race them any time? Well, yeah, well, yeah, if you lose, you can always try again. Oh, wait, you lost that? Uh, yes. 
Yes, I did. But not by much, though. Oh, I you won. No, no, it was rather close. There's a lot of egg variants over there. Egg variants? Well, variations of uh, your egg projectiles. <laughs> uh, I would know. Not when you're pausing right here. Like, there's different oh. kinds of eggs you can uh, fire. Oh, oh yes, those. Uh, there's uh, blue eggs, there's fire eggs, grenade eggs, ice eggs, and clockwork kazooie eggs. You know, Banjo Kazooie, there was just blue eggs. Do we ever see uh, Banjo's sister in this game? Just because uh, so far uh, I haven't uh, seen her at all. Uh, no, Tootie does not make a return appearance in this game. No, Grunty must. Right, because Grunty is like the archenemy of Banjo and Kazooie. Like Bowser, you just can't get rid of him. Right. Yeah, you know, one one other thing I find weird is like they didn't bring Brentilda back for this game. Oh, the uh fairy lady? Yes, the nicer sister of Brunty. Apparently they introduced two new characters as Brunty sisters, Miguela and Blabelda. Yeah, which I've actually read an interesting fact about what's uh, what's gonna happen with them later. Oh, yes. Well, I won't spoil that. I won't either. <laughs> that, uh... That's, uh, kind of... dark? <laughs> and... victory. Yep. <laughs> Just stole everything from this bird, haven't you? <laughs> I guess so. And there we go, the last Cheeto page of the game. And now for the world's biggest uh, cannonball. <laughs> I was, I thought you were gonna say a leap of faith, but that works too. <laughs> So, um, if we, were, if we were to think about that logically, uh, I'm pretty sure Banjo probably would have died regardless if he fell into the ocean or not. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> of course, yeah, because what I'm doing here, here is I'm trading in the remaining extra honeycomb pieces to Honeybee. Now, now what now what Honeybee can do is, like, she can give you one extra unit of energy if you give her enough empty honeycomb pieces. Ah. Oh, you always trade nine? Always, uh, well, no, uh, oh, no, nine's for like the last unit of energy. So do you have all the units of energy now? 
Yeah, yep, that, that's all you can have. I got this guy can just take you anywhere. Yep, those warp silos can definitely take you places. Take you places that you never dreamed. <laughs> exactly! Now, in an earlier video, I said, like, this was my last trip to Spiral Mountain, but I guess I quickly changed my mind on that. <laughs> and, like, for what reason? Well, I thought we'd give Cheeto the last five Cheeto pages. Hmm. I see, uh, bottles is a uh, little mound are still there. Yep, they are. Oh, this place has really changed. Yep. Why does Cheeto look depressed? Well, because, like, since he helped Banjo and Kazooie out in the last game, Grunty tore up his pages. Wow. Oh, so that's why you get the pages back for Yep. And that's it for this video, so until next time, this is Gold League Gamer 1 and Cosmic Meta Knight. Later, folks. Later, folks.